Hello Capricorn, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a peek into your partner reading. I'm going to be looking at your present or future partner. I'm going to look at what is on their mind, how they feel about the connection, how they view you, what's blocking the connection and a possible outcome. And then I'm going to uh, clarify with a different deck. So this message will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be general, so it won't resonate with every Capricorn out there. So just keep that in mind. Spirit, please help me look into Capricorn's partner, present or future. Energies could be vice versa. Spirit, oh. Spirit, help me look into Capricorn's partner. Capricorn's present or future partner, please. Thank you so much to everyone who has liked or subscribed or has left a comment. I've read all of your comments. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn's person? Spirit, what's going on with Capricorn's person, present or future? All right, so let's get started. What's on this person's mind when it comes to Capricorn? What is Capricorn's person thinking? Oh. Okay, so we have Queen of Wands, Three of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. So something is, I feel like this person is going through something painful. Um, something where divine timing is at play here. I feel like this person is thinking about action, taking some sort of action. Um, and I feel like it has to do with whatever painful situation they're finding themselves in. Bottom of the deck is Knight of Swords. This is someone rushing in. Um, and I feel like they're, they're needing to be strong here with um, the Strength card, Sign of Leo. This person could have Leo in their chart, doesn't have to be. How does this person see Capricorn? How does this person, okay. So they view you as four of swords. They, um, there might not be a lot of communication between you two, or if there is communication, I don't feel like you're being very forthcoming. You're keeping things to yourself. Maybe you're focused on healing or recovering self care. I have, justice at the bottom of the deck here. So I feel like you're also trying to balance out a situation. Um, I feel like you're also, for some of you, you're kind of thinking deeply about a decision you have to make or a judgment call you have to make. How does this person feel about the connection? How does Capricorn's person feel about this connection? Whoa. Seven of Wands. I've gotten this a lot with some of the other readings. So I feel like this person wants to defend this connection, stick up for something to do with this connection. Maybe this person has been blocked or you've just cut off communication with them, but this person is definitely fighting for something here regarding this connection. I have 10 of swords under the deck. So um, again, I feel like this person's going through some, like a painful ending of some sort. Um, maybe you guys broke up. That's just for some of you. Under the deck, I have knight of pentacles. So this person could be wrapping up a cycle in order to be more stable. What's blocking this connection between Capricorn and their person. Spirit, what's blocking this connection between Capricorn? Seven of Cups. 
options, confusion, being overwhelmed. That's what blocking this, that's what's blocking this connection. Someone could be uh, dating around. Other people are more thinking about it's almost like they're there's so much in their head that they and, and and you know daydreaming that they don't actually put anything into action or or take any action nine of pentacles under the deck so someone could be single and mingling and enjoying the single life or like i said this could be a breakup of some sort where one of you is single again the knight of cups right underneath that so it's like this person wants to change the situation of someone being single like um for those of you where someone's trying to be stable it's like they're they, they're trying to get to this nine of pentacles energy in order to bring you this offer what kind of outcome are we looking at for capricorn well that was sloppy interesting what kind of outcome are we looking at for capricorn and their person it's a possible outcome oh. page of wands was under the deck when i first pulled it in so i think that's very interesting it came back out five of cups page of wands someone could have some sort of fear of being rejected um there's like some someone that wants to deliver a message here there there's attraction there's passion here Someone could just be focused on the past, on what was lost here. For others of you, this communication is unwanted and it makes you sad or you're just, you're not in a place to accept this communication is what I'm feeling with the Page of Wands and the um, Five of Cups. Bottom of the deck is the Six of Pentacles. So um, someone's probably thinking about making a situation right. We did have justice earlier and the scales are here again. Rebalancing a situation, fixing a situation, or trying to, trying to um, make an effort or I feel like, um, like put in some actual work, whether that's financial or mental, you know, fill in the blank. Behind that, I have the star. I feel like this person wants to heal the situation or the outcome here is that there's going to be some sort of healing or um, repairing of something. So let's clarify with a different deck and see what this is all about. I already pre-shuffled these, but I'm gonna shuffle them again. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Capricorn regarding their person present or future Capricorn and their person present or future please let me clarify spirit justice again with the queen of cups someone wants to make something right there's a lot of emotion here I feel like a small number of you are deciding to even accept this person that's why we have seven of wands four of swords almost like you don't want to accept this or talk about this deal with this anymore that's a small number of you others of you i feel are going to be open to this person one more yeah so, so someone's willing to put in work here make an effort because they want long-term commitment Spirit, tell me about the Wheel of Fortune, Three of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. This is what's on this person's mind. I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune here, this is, look what just popped up. Queen of Pentacles. Someone is thinking stability, commitment. What else, Spirit? Someone's thinking action. Um, they're really, there's attraction here. There's chemistry. But there's also pain. I have the three of swords here. I feel like the wheel of fortune though is helping this person overcome this situation. Ten of pentacles just flipped out. This person's thinking marriage, stability, long term. Bottom of the deck is page of swords. This person could be checking in on you. You guys could be social media buddies. 
<laughs> okay, tell me about the Four of Swords. This is how this person is viewing you, Capricorn. Um, right away, I'm thinking quiet. Someone that's not open uh, because they're so busy focusing on themselves, repairing themselves, or, or just rebalancing themselves. Again, I, I, I say that because, look, Justice just popped out here. I'm not going to take these because there's too many. And I just spotted the Ten of Swords. But I feel like you could also be dealing with some sort of painful situation. Or situ a situation that has left you tired, exhausted. Nine of Wands. I just spotted Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck there. Why is this? Wow. Queen of Wands. Okay. This is how they see you. So I think this person thinks you are very attractive, a passionate person, a go-getter. Page of Wands, the bottom of the deck again with the future outcome. This person's thinking about talking, communicating their feelings for you. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. You could be someone that's life of the party, social, uh, creative. For some of you, I'm getting eccentric. You're not like the rest. King of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. This person's thinking about, yeah, they're thinking, hey, I want to be the king to this queen. Don't focus on gender. Just focus on the energies here. And I want to make that solid offer again with the Ace of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, three of cups. You could be, um, you could have met or, or there's, it's almost like I'm, I'm getting, you guys have the same social circle. You might see each other either at school, at work, or with, between your friends, etc. Or on social media, like some of, some, um, like with the page of swords earlier, I have the nine of cups here. So I'm thinking lots of drinking, getting together. We just had a Super Bowl, so something like that. I feel like this person is almost like they have their eye on you, given your situation. Um, I'm also thinking that this person's wish fulfillment is a reunion of some sort. Tell me about this Seven of Wands. This is how they feel about this connection. And I feel like they feel like they need to fight for it. Holy crap, look what just popped up over here. Um, how do they feel about this connection? That was kind of a sloppy um, shuffling there. That's why I didn't take those, but I definitely feel like this person is thinking marriage, happiness here with uh, Queen of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. I mean, this is the wifey daddy card here. Someone stable, whoa. Okay, I'm just gonna take those. How they feel about the connection. They want to manifest this new beginning for sure. They want to manifest this conversation with you where there's clarity about what they want, what they feel. Bottom of the deck is the chariot. So they definitely want to move forward with you. They could be traveling to you. You could be living at a distance from each other. Could be a cancer that you're dealing with doesn't have to be they I really just am thinking movement victory so let's look at what's blocking this connection what's the seven of cups here death sign of Scorpio whoa ace of cups just popped up nine of wands again I feel like there's someone that has been through some serious hurdles in their life why death with a seven of cups here. My death with the seven of cups. Oh my God, my cards are just going crazy today. I was pre-shuffling earlier and I could not keep them in my hands. I want this one. Okay, of course I wanted that one. Tower. Tower and death. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Someone with Scorpio in their chart. What's blocking this connection is these situations. Either whatever ending happened, whatever tower moment has happened, there's been some sort of ending. 
um, that is transforming the situation. For, for example, some of you might have broken up with this person a long time ago and you've both gone under some sort of transformation and um, there's, there's, there was tower moments and now there's a new foundation you can build upon. For others of you, this could be that, you know, there was some sort of financial or any other type of hardship um, where you guys had to separate or are dealing with a situation right now together. Um, that's kind of transforming the relationship, transforming how you see each other. Bottom of the deck is Seven of Pentacles. This is someone that has been nurturing a, uh, something, willing something to grow, working hard, planting seeds, waiting for their harvest. I feel like someone um, has been waiting. Again, we have two sevens here, but... And another seven here with the seven of wands so that's interesting i'll talk about what sevens mean in a second but basically i feel like i feel like someone is waiting for something to blow over that's the that's what i'm getting very very strongly i also feel like people people some someone here has been daydreaming fantasizing about how to get out of a situation how to transform a situation they're thinking how can i grow something how can i work on something or how can i grow stability and i i don't think it's a, a coincidence that we have sevens here we have um three sevens that i can see so far Sevens are all about potential, ambitions. I also have two aces on the board. New beginning, something new. I feel like if you're with this person currently, there's a new um, phase for your relationship. For others of you, this is a new person. Um, let's move on here. Tell me more about Five of Cups and Page of Wands and the future outcome. Five of Cups to me is very much, you know, looking at your spilled, someone just focusing on what hasn't worked out, focusing on the negative. Um, but I also think about it as someone that's looking into their past. Like they can't get over what has happened. You know, they're so focused on their pain and their disappointment that they, they, they don't focus on what they have. The Fool came out. So this is definitely feels like a new beginning, a new stage. Like I said, I really felt strongly that if you were with this person or um, were like maybe have recently broken up with this person, there's something new coming in for you or the possibility of a new beginning with this person, um, even though you, you're already together. Bottom of the deck, I have the two of wands again with the possibilities here, potential. Someone's deciding which way to go here. And there's the seven of wands. There is how this person is viewing this connection. So I feel like this person is really thinking strongly about how to go about this. Tell me more about the fool, the sun, with the higher font under the deck. Interesting. Could be a Taurus or someone with Taurus in their chart. Could be Scorpio, like I said, or um, I really feel like this person, I mean, I have um, a, a lot of pentacles i have a lot of wands i have a lot you know that's why it's so hard that's why i don't really like to focus on the signs that are that i see on the table because there's so much more to people people have multiple signs you know but here i have leo possibly with the sun this new beginning is going to make you very happy capricorn that's what i feel some of you could be getting married with the, the higher font or someone is just wanting to do things right. 
All right, I'm going to leave it there, Capricorn. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If this resonated with you, please let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about what this situation is all about. Um, thanks again for checking out my channel. Subscribe if you like what I do, and I'll see you guys in my next one.